Hey, my name's Aaron. Today we're going to be installing a Z1 coolant bleed report on this 350Z. You can find this product along with anything else you need for your Nissan or Infiniti at z1motorsports.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the tools needed for this install. Host clamp pliers and a five millimeter Allen key. Now this is a very useful tool. However, it's not needed. These are flexible hose clamp pliers. If you're gonna be doing a lot of work on your car, often these are very good to get. They are, they make it easy to get into hard to reach places. And as you'll see in this video, this 350Z has a kinetics plenum. So I don't have as much access as I normally would with the stock plenum. And so you can see how I can get this tool in here to get this hose clamp off. So to remove the bleeder port, I find it easiest to remove the clamp that is on the heater hose at the firewall. Once you get that off, you can slide the hose off and you can pull it through and you'll have access to the bleeder port. So go ahead and give it a nice tug. It might be stuck on there. It's probably been on there for 10 years or so, so it might be a little difficult to get off. Sometimes some uh, corrosion and crust can build up on the hose. Once you get the hose off the heater core, go ahead and pull that hose and bleeder port through. And we're gonna leave the other side of the heater hose connected to the water pipe. There's no need to remove that one. Yeah, once you get that hose pulled up, you can now see that you have easy access to the bleeder port. Go ahead and grab your hose clamp pliers. Remove both the clamps for the heater hose. These clamps have a lot of tension on them, so be very careful and mindful. Before completely removing the bleeder port, it's a good idea to mark where the hoses are because they are form-fitted, so you will need to line them back up to how they previously were. Also make a note of how the bleeder port is installed. And once you get that old bleeder port out there, you can throw that guy in the trash and you can grab your new bleeder port. Since the new bleeder port came with new clamps, we're gonna go ahead and take these old ones off. <clears throat> as I said before, these are under a lot of tension, so be careful here as you can see, this one gets away from me. The new clamps are already in the locking position. So whenever you are ready to release the lock, all you have to do is squeeze them with your hose clamp pliers and they should unlock. And go ahead and take our old clamp off the other hose. Now that we have those new clamps installed, we are ready to go ahead and install the new bleeder port. So since we are reusing these hoses, we can see that they are already formed to the old clamps and we are going to do our best to line up the new clamp with those marks left from the old clamp. This is going to ensure the best possible clamping force on this hose and prevent any possible leaks. I'm just still trying to get that clamp lined up. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the other side of the heater hose and make sure we line it up with that mark that we previously drew on. And same as the other side, we are going to release that spring clamp and we are going to line it up with the marks on the hose. As you can see here, we have everything lined up to how it previously was. So now we can go ahead and feed our heater hose back to where it goes. We are ready to install it onto the heater core itself. Just be patient as this is a very tight area to work with. It can be a little tricky to get this hose fed back through. We're going to use our cable clamp here. So as a pro tip, anytime you're working with silicone hoses or just regular stock factory rubber hoses, it's a good 
practice to use some silicone spray as it makes install a lot easier and a lot smoother. Silicone spray is also a really great product because it dries up quickly and you don't have to worry about it staying lubricated so the hose will not slide off. Once you get your heater hose put on, make sure that the bleeder port is pointed directly up. Alright guys, and thank you for watching. That's going to wrap up the Z1 bleeder port install.